What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl here. And today, I want to come in and talk to you about a young girl named Nayara Givens who was stabbed to death by an, another 13-year-old girl. So I want to get into this story. Um, and this, they said this happened a day before the Micaiah Bryant situation happened. So let's, let me go ahead and read this article to you so we can get a full understanding of what's going on. Cincinnati, Ohio. A family is broken after a 13-year-old girl was stabbed to death in Winton Hills, okay? The teen's father said the pain is immeasurable and described her as the glue that held them all together. Investigators said the teen was taken to Cincinnati Children's Hospital where she died after the stabbing Monday night. Hmm. Hmm. Jesus. I held her. I watched her as she died. I watched her, you know, all I can do was just hold her, hold her. And her father, Maurice Jackson, said that. Devastation, heartache, and loss are all emotions that Jackson, Nayara Givens' father, is feeling after her sudden death. I tried. I tried to stop the bleeding, Jackson said. There are so many feelings he cannot escape, and many people won't be able to either. After the loss of a child. Cincinnati police said Givens was stabbed to death by another 13-year-old girl during a fight near the family's home on Top Ridge Place. Prayers on Tuesday evening helped ease the heartache, but just barely. Oh, man, I, I, I really feel for this father. I do. I really do feel for this father. Just try to protect her. I just tried my best to protect her and be her father um, that the best that I can be, you know. I guess it didn't pay, I guess I didn't pay attention to all the stuff that was going on around her. And you know what? As a parent, you can't really blame that on yourself. You know, our children, when they become the, that teenage age, it's hard to know what they, they, they every step of the way unless we keep them inside. Okay, and if we keep them prisoner inside, when they get out, they're going to go buck wild. So when you give your kids a little leeway, we never know what they're doing. They, We never know what they're doing. Let me tell you something. Half of the stuff I've done as a teenager, it never got back to my mother and father. It never got back to my grandmother because you know why? I did my stuff off the block. And I knew how much <laughs> devilish stuff to get into and what not to get into. So we... As a parent, you don't know everything that your children are doing outside. They're not going to come tell you every fight or every person that's bothering them or who don't like them because they want to be able to handle it themselves. So I don't want him to feel as if he didn't do all that he could. You did everything that you could with a good father. But sometimes, you know, teenagers, they keep things from us too. Um, He said his daughter was the second oldest of seven. Mm, mm, mm. He also says she helped keep the family together and loved school. Jackson told WLWT his daughter was a freshman at Aiken High at Aiken High School and went to school with the girl who stabbed her. Oh my God. He said they were on and off friends, but the but his daughter was being bullied. Community leaders call the scene tragic, which it is. Learn how to solve problems one towards another because you just be because just because you're mad at somebody doesn't mean that you can take their life. A 13 year old's life was stolen this time and it has left a family broken. The pain I'm feeling right now is just I can't explain it, it's very unexplainable. She should be burying me. I shouldn't be burying her. And that's what her father said. And we as parents, we all feel that way about our children. We shouldn't have to bury our children. Our children should be buried us. Um, Giver's father says she was smart, mature, and wanted to be a hairstylist. He says she wanted to bring beauty to the world. Police said the 13-year-old suspect is being held at Hamilton County juvenile detention center and is due in court on wednesday by zoom she faces murder charges okay now i know we just had this incident with, with, with micaiah all right and the police were nowhere in sight when this happened you know um 
it's a very unfortunate thing. This man, he lost his daughter. He lost his daughter. He lost his daughter. You know, I just keep him in prayer. I'll, I'll just keep him in prayer, keep her whole family in prayer, and my condolences to him. And he just, you know, it's just heartbreaking that these young kids, what's going on? What's in this food? What's in the water? What's going on? Because it seems like these young kids are just losing it. Okay? This young lady took this girl's life, and now she's not going to have a life because she's going to be in jail for the rest of hers, facing murder charges. Hmm. Mm-mm. Hmm, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, it's, it's just, it's always something going on. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I wanted to talk about this because I didn't want this story just to be lost because of the height I was going on with Makaya Bryant. This story needs to be told. This young mate, this young lady lost her life fighting with someone else who had a knife and it's just it's just hurtful. It's it's hurtful. So this needs to get coverage. And please share this story if you can. Okay? Share it on your social media. Just share it so this story can get out. Okay? Because Nyara Givens is at the point where fighting is becoming very violent. Nobody is fighting fair. Nobody is fighting fair. So my condolences to her family. Um, this is this is just sad. It's just sad all the way around. Mm-mm-mm. All right, you guys. That's all I have for today. And I'll talk to you later, okay? All right, bye. <laughs>